A very warm welcome to all of you to this course on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. So, till now we have uh, seen what are random numbers, how do they work or uh, how do they work in a broader sense and uh, we have defined the uniform distribution, we have used the inbuilt function rand and we have used this randi command that we know is used to generate random integers between 1 and n to simulate the toss of a coin. Now, let us, so this is a pre-prepared program, I will, uh, because this is simple I would not recode it, so I will just use the slide to explain whatever there is. So, basically we will use this rand i n to, or rather I should put it this way. Thousand throws of a throws of a die. We'll use rand i n to simulate thousand throws of a die. So we describe the program. So clear all flows. All these are standards, or these are like the header. So we define that. Define that want to roll the die these many times. So, we will be rolling the die rolls times. So, this x is random integer between 1 and 6, but uh, rand i six comma rolls 1 would also have worked. Tabulate basically I will use the inbuilt help to describe what the tabulate command does, but uh, essentially tabulate picks up distinct values and uh, gives their counts as uh, a table. So, A is tabulate x, so the first and the third columns of x, so the first column has the values and the second column has the numbers and third column has the percentages. So, if I look at the in internal help for tabulate. So, actually let us do this. So, we have the role of die as an example stored here. So, we have stored the script as an example. So, actually let us run this and I will add the CLC command here as well. Run it again. Yes, the file has run again and again. So, I click that thrice, so file will run thrice now. So, as I said, so let us look at this matrix A. So, as said the first entry contains the values, the second entry contains the counts and the third column contains the corresponding percentages. So, this becomes more significant if I say I increase the number of rows to 2000, then I reuse tabulate to run this. So, MATLAB has an error, so it would not show us the plot, but we know what the plot will look like. So, we can see that uh, the distinction between counts and percentages, we directly wanted percentages, so we used the percentage here. But even this would work fine. So, if I decide instead of 1 to 6, I give it 6, this gives me the same table, this gives me the same table, but say I want say even numbers oh sorry 2 to 10 say 2 to 10 it does not take spaced integers we will look at how to use spaced integers for this so this and so the count for 1 is 0 10 so it generates random integers between 2 and 10. So, let us return to the 1 to 6 model and this. Now, this leads to a slightly practical example or uh, say this use of rand i leads to a slightly more practical 
case, I will write the problem statement here and then let us play with it. So, insert, I will insert a new slide. Say suppose if I have a list and I want to select random entries list. Say I have a list and I want to select random entries from that list. Say I have a list where example say I define a list A or list say 1, 1.02 H which is the Planck's constant equals 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34. I have the Avogadro's number. I have E, I have pi. Suppose I want to generate a random sequence from this list. So, what do I do? So, suppose I want to work with this list only and I will first create this list in MATLAB. So, list equals 1, 1.02 pi e 3 into 10 to power 8 the velocity of light 6.023 10 to power 23 our get rows number and 6.63 the Planck's constant. So, e exp1 would return that. So, these are the numbers I will look at the list. So, 1, 1 1.02, 3.14159 pi E with the velocity of light, Avogadro's number and Planck's constant. So, I want to generate one element from this list randomly. So, the question is that can I randomly select this list using randi. Can I select one element from this use list randomly using randi? The answer is yes. Yes, we can. So, how do we do that? So, the answer is take the length of the list as L 1. Step 2, take the length of the list as L. Rand I L would Rand I L would return 1 index use L equals use list L as the random entry fine. So, let us say that uh, I say L equals rand I. So, let me take the size of this list L equals length of list and that gives me 7. So, so this randomly picks the Avogadro's rows number or I can say can make it one more level abstract and use this or I can use multiple inline functions and use this. I want uh, suppose want to generate an array instead. So, save as list 
select examples so say if i run this ah oh yes i need to specify the list so i had forgotten to specify the list and here's the definition of the list i'll copy this paste this here save and run so this is the list we have generated and 2000 times 1 so you see the first entry is e the second entry is 1.02 then so this is a sequence of randomly generated entries from our list and if i look at a these are the sorted values of the entries and you see that uh, this is still close to uniform which is as expected by the random integers so this picks entries randomly i can do this for 100000 rolls as well it's done and we can see that uh, the table now contain so this is these are much closer to the uniform distribution and uh, so 100000 divided by 7 is close to 1.42 and so these are all close to 1.42 which is as expected and uh, which is close to the uniform distribution fine so this is how what if i have a list and i want to select random entries from that list so this is how we can use randi to select random entries from a list so that said we have in, looked at two commands of generating random numbers in matlab the rand command and the randi command but uh, there are two more commands that uh, generate random variables or that uh, are commonly used to generate random numbers or random initialization or uh, that are commonly used for uh, random simulations in matlab that we'll look at so one is randn that generates a gaussian random variable and the other one is randperm that generates a random permutation of length n so let us look at these two commands one by one so first we talk about the randn command so randn generate entries are gaussian with mean and unit variance so let us inspect this term that uh, this random nm is used to generate a random matrix each of whose entries are gaussian with zero mean and unit variance so let us uh, inspect this term gaussian with zero mean and unit variance you might have covered this in your probability course but uh, for completeness let us revisit this in this course so we want to generate a random matrix each of whose entries are gaussian with zero mean and unit variance so we will look at what is a gaussian random variable so a random variable x is called gaussian distributed or normal distributed with the mean mu variance sigma squared if its pdf probability density function is given as fx of x equals minus mu by root 2 sigma 
whole square. This is the probability density function of Gaussian random variable. Its CDF will naturally be given as any real x. Fx of x, the CDF is minus infinity to x. Fx of u du equals this this is the cdf and uh, this is integrable and we use change of variables say we define to calculate this minus mu by root 2 sigma and therefore dv equals du by 2 sigma and hence fx of x equals minus infinity to x or should I not so I, I will not use this root 2 sigma x minus mu by so simply x minus mu by sigma not x minus mu by root 2 sigma this 1 upon root 2 pi so minus v square by 2 dv e to the minus v square by 2 dv and we define q of x this is a q of x is a well tabulated function Therefore, since minus infinity to infinity fx x dx equals 1, therefore fx of x equals 1 minus this. And q function tables are well tabulated, these are available. So, we can use the q function to calculate the CDF of a Gaussian random variable and similarly we have that the expected value of a Gaussian random variable x is mu. This can be shown, I will not derive this here and equals mu square plus sigma square. Naturally, variance of x is sigma square and the special property of a Gaussian random variable is that if you know the mean and the variance of a Gaussian random variable, you can fully characterize its PDF. So, if you know the mean and the variance of a Gaussian random variable, you can fully characterize its probability density function that is there. So, these are the special properties of a Gaussian random variable that uh, we should be aware of before we go further and uh, now let us re-examine the statements. And yes, one last thing, a question of notation. So, in general, if x is Gaussian with the mean mu and variance sigma square, then this denotes the Gaussian random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square, fine. So, random n m generates an n times n random matrix, each of whose entries are Gaussian with zero mean and unit variance. So, each of whose entries are normal with 0, 1. So, this is the random command and uh, finally, we look at the rand perm command which generates a random permutation of length n 
so rand perm what it will do I will look at rand perm yes so what n generates a vector of length n populated with a random permutation of 1 to n. So, this array 1 to n it uh, randomly permutes this array of 1 to n and uh, returns it. So, therefore, for length n there are n factorial possible permutations and each permutation is chosen uniformly each permutation is chosen uniformly. So, let us demonstrate this in MATLAB. So, say I clear this, I clear this and say three. 1, 2, 3, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, there are 6 possible 3, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3. So, there will be 6 possible outcomes here. So, I should write those that uh, rand perm. So, I should elaborate rand perm 3, at least rand perm 3. So, rand perm 3 will have six possible outcomes 1 2 3 1 3 2 2 1 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 3 2 1 so, these will be generated uniformly or one out of these permutations will be selected uniformly. So, this is the rand perm command and this can be used to generate the random permutation of a list that uh, we will do. So, the problem that we will take up is that use this to generate the random permutation of a list. We will use this to generate a random permutation of a list. So, let us do that. So, list select. So, I will rename this, I will save this as one random permutation of the list and this is it. So, we have the list and uh, let x be that random permutation. So, roles are irrelevant here. I will delete this. So, list. So, basically I can use I can use rand perm length list. So, basically this generates. So, the list length is 7 as said earlier. This is one random permutation of the list. So, what I will do is random length and there is no need for any tabulation. So, all of this goes. I just generate a random permutation of the list in CLC. So, this will display a random permutation of this list. Let us do that. So, actually this because log I can display the log of the random permutation of the list that will be sim simpler. Save and run. So, this is the log of the random permutation of the list. 
actually let me separate this list by commas and not semicolons. This, so this, so this is one more. This is another list. So you can see that we can generate random permutations of this list. We need not actually I'll do this and run this again. So this is one permutation of the list. This is another permutation of the list. So we can generate this randperm command to obtain random permutations of any list. So these are the four basic commands that we will repeatedly use to generate random numbers in MATLAB or generate the effects of randomness in MATLAB. So with this we finish this lecture and uh, in the next lecture we will talk a bit more about tabulation and uh, we will talk a bit more about uh, how do we obtain the descriptive statistics of uh, randomly generated numbers. Thank you. Mm -hmm.